we are back with more Barnstable this morning. It's Adoptable Pet Friday. I'm Sarah Colvin here with Brittany Pickle, our volunteer John, and Copper, who is a red bone coon hound. Red bone coon hound. And he is just full of energy. He's been running around the studio since he came in. So tell me a little bit about Copper. What is his story? Copper has a sad story. Copper is five years old. Um, he's a neutered male. He was brought in because in his previous home, he was basically kenneled 20 hours a day. So imagine this barking noise you've been hearing in your house all the time, because he just wants to be around people, and that's <laughs> he he needs someone that's there. He doesn't want to be um, kenneled. He maybe a retired person, just someone that's not going to have to leave him at home for as long as he was before. Sure. And he's a little bit more active than your average dog, so we're saying probably no small kids, no cats. Um, he's okay with small dogs, but like most hounds, he has that Back. instinct of needing to seek out that animal for his hunter. So sure. he's more of a big dog, kind of a dog. Great. Huh, and someone who has a lot of time to give him the exercise and the energy that he needs. He needs a lot of exercise. Yes, he does. Now, are older dogs trainable? Obviously, we've yes. seen him sitting yes. down and things like that. So can someone, will someone be able to, to train him and maybe calm him down a little bit, at least give him the exercise and the energy that he needs? Any dog is able to be trained. You know, you can you can teach an old dog new tricks for sure. That's what we've learned at the shelter. Um, positive reinforcement, like we're treating him right now while he's sitting and being quiet. If he started to bark or get rambunctious, then we would have to ignore him. Um, it's just removing the enforcement, which is simple. It's simple things that anyone can do. And we do have a trainer at the shelter that could certainly help you um, teach him any new tricks that you'd like. Wonderful. So he's a relatively big dog. So again, somebody maybe with experience with dogs, would he would he be someone that, that maybe has had a dog before would be a better yes. parent for him? Because then someone would know how much time to spend with him and that the crate training would, would be a much longer process with him since he was <coughs> had a negative idea about the crate. <laughs> Exactly. Really so real, not so much time in the crate, more time outside. So Copper, of course, is available for adoption. He's at the MSPCA Centerville. I bet he will go home pretty quickly. I hope so. He's a handsome boy. Copper, it was so nice to meet you, and I know we've got more pets coming we up. We do. Um, if you take Copper out, we're going to get, we have a guinea pig, because this week we had a lot of guinea pigs brought oh. in. Yes, um, we had four new guinea pigs on top of the two that we already have. So we have Fluffy here today, okay, um, which is an all too common story of a guinea pig that gets purchased for a child who then loses interest, loses interest and then mom doesn't want to clean it anymore. And then we also have Fiona, our beautiful oh, little kitten. Let's look at Fiona first. Look how cute she is. Oh hold. my goodness. Hi, Fee. This is Fiona. Oh. She's probably nine weeks old. Very oh, soft, very cute. So soft. Um, her mom was brought in. We discovered she was pretty obviously pregnant. Um, so we sent her to a foster home where Luna, the mom, had her litter of four kittens. Um, so Fiona and her sister, who is solid gray, like her without the tan, are both going to be available probably in the next week. Um, but if you're interested, just call the shelter or stop by, and we can certainly get you in contact with the foster mom. Wow. She's cute. She's social. She's great with other cats. Um, there's even a little dog in the foster home, so I think she might do well in a home with dogs since that's what she's been raised around. Sure. And Super cuddly cute. and friendly, too. Yeah. I mean, look, she's just sitting right there. <laughs> she loves people, of course. Um, and she doesn't have to be adopted with her litter mate, um, but that wouldn't be a bad thing. Sure. So she's got a litter mate, uh, both females, did you yep. say? Both this gray. Little Fiona. I she is so sweet. And then this is Fluffy that I was talking about that. Um, oh, child look at got look at Fluffy! Kind of sick of having to clean, so she is really young. She's about six months old, female. Um, we don't know much about her. She was bought at a pet store, like I said, and you know, kids do get kind of sick of them quickly. So we always prefer if they're older mm -hmm. children or even adults. Adults often adopt guinea pigs, which is my favorite. Fluffy has such a cool look. She almost looks like an owl. She's an Abyssinian, and I've never seen one that has gray and white like this. And it's not like gray for like an older one. She's only six months old. She, she's actually still a baby. And she's beautiful. So she would need grooming. Sure. All guinea pigs need grooming, but she definitely needs some brushing and maybe some bathing. Absolutely. What I, what I really love about seeing all these guinea pigs is you have kind of a, a, a picture in your head of the kind of typical tan and white guinea pig. And we have seen just so many different varieties we of have guinea tons. pigs. Of the other ones that came in this week, there's another one that's fluffy like her, um, an Abyssinian with the hair, but tricolored. We got a male named Snickers, who's brown and white, probably the classic one that you're picturing. Um, she just licked me. You're, you're oh, so sweet. You didn't even really? know me. I don't think I've ever seen a guinea pig as cute as Fluffy. I know. 
So what what do, what do people need to uh, to kind of have in place before they take a guinea pig like Fluffy home? Either an X pen, an exercise pen, or a big cage. I know you think it's a small animal and it can just sit in a small cage, but that's not true at all. Um, she's on young guinea pig pellets. We tell you all about the hay and the different vitamins and supplements that she would need. But otherwise, you just need someone that's going to pay attention to her and not just keep her and play with her when they need to. She needs to be played with every day. Wonderful. To help you be social, huh? It's so cute. Yes. So again, available for adoption at the MSPCA. Do you guys have any events, any specials, anything going on that you would like to let our viewers know yes. about? Yes, we have a Christmas tree that we're going to be doing a lighting for at the Cape Cod Mall in front of the big Macy's. Um, that is going to be December 1st. You can buy ornaments for, it doesn't have to be a pet that was bought, you know, or adopted. It can be any pet that you've ever had. You can buy an ornament. There's different shapes for different amounts and you can put your pet's picture on it and we're oh, going to do the tree lighting December 1st at the Cape Cod Mall. Excellent. So how can people get involved in that? Just stop by or give you guys a call? Yes, you can call us to learn more about the exact date and time. But if you want to buy an ornament, you can go to the MSPCA website. Woo! Fluffy's <laughs> on a roll here. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, Brittany, thank you so much and Fluffy and Fiona and we'll be back in just a minute to close out the show. It's really hard to put this kitten down. I know. You and this kitten are a little bit bonded <laughs> I think, already. I think we have bonded. I think she's just going to stay here on my chest for the rest of the day. It's good stuff. You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so a uh, quiet day here at Town Hall no today. No meetings today so everyone can get out and just enjoy the weekend. That's right. And we've got a short week next week. Of course, Thanksgiving on the way. We'll be here Monday through Wednesday and then Thursday and Friday. Uh, no BTM. Yeah, everyone will be enjoying their families. That's right. We've got a regularly scheduled guests on Monday. Looking forward to uh, author Kathy Aspen. She was in the studio this week. Uh, what is, energy. Yes, yeah, she is such a sweetheart. And I already, I couldn't help it, put, put the book down that I was reading and had to pick up her book because it's, it's just a fun romp, you know. So tune in for that interview for Wonderful. sure. We'll learn a little bit more about that. Um, well, we are here each and every weekday morning bringing you news, information, and interviews to help keep you up to date, informed, and get your day started off on the right foot. We'll be back Monday with more BTM. For now, I'm Sarah Colvin. And I'm Sarah Mantle. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone. We'll see you right back here Monday morning at 8.